Hey guys, I'm Grace Tori, and you're listening to That Girl the Podcast. Grab a beverage of choice and settle in because the new episode is starting now. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Grace Tori, and I look like I have been through war, and I kind of have. <laughs> I just got home and changed into pajamas, threw my hair up. And here we are but I'm so excited because for today's episode I'm gonna be doing a holiday wish list slash gift ideas slash what women in their 20s are asking for this year so kind of like a trendy thing of like what's going on I don't know all the vibes just kind of all the vibes some of this is from my own personal Christmas list some of this is things that I asked around and my friends and other women my age told me they were asking for this year so i thought that i would uh share the wealth of information for all the boyfriends and moms and siblings who didn't know what to get their that special lady in their life um for christmas so without further ado let's just jump on into it i don't think there's too many life updates going on i've been really high on life i still haven't finished putting decorations up so that's why there's not any tiktoks up or anything about it yet but the plan is to do that tonight once josh gets home and i get done uploading this episode so that is pretty much it let's go ahead and jump on in to the christmas list the very first thing i have on this list is bath and body works candles be careful and make sure that like their animals if they have animals can be around these but December 2nd and 3rd, which are this week, they have a sale where the tw three wick candles, which are typically like $23 to $25, are on sale for $9.95. So I'm pretty sure someone told me that, so double check. But those are like literally the best thing ever to any girl in her 20s, pretty much any high schooler, any college student, anyone graduated, my mom, like the best time of the year and anyone would be happy to get that so i would definitely say that is a huge ticket item and as well on top of that any candles in general pretty much are so i am going to link down below pretty much anything that i can some of these are experiences and some of these are more general but for the really specific items i will link down below an option for you but in addition to the bath and body works candles you can also do decorative candles so a big thing this year are those bubble candles where they're like a cube but they have a bubble i'll i'll link some down below and then there's some that are shaped really cool like i saw one that was shaped like david's head from the statue of david that's really cool that's on my christmas list so anything home decor is really a home run <laughs> home decor home run comedy um but candles specifically are just 10 out of 10 so i'll link some of that down below definitely a good time check out the bath and body Works sale if you can get over there they're at pretty much every mall and they're great next is a brita water bottle so the thing about girlies is we love water bottles and the even more silly goofy thing about girlies is some of us don't really like tap water me included i'm really weird about my water i want it to be filtered i want to make sure that i'm putting things in my body that are good for me uh so brita makes these bottles and you put a filter in the straw kind of it like goes next to the straw and it filters the water as it's in the bottle so i will link it down below i used to have one they were so amazing and then luna my little doggo when he was a puppy ate it fun fact he didn't eat like the bottle because the bottle's metal but he like ruined the lid so it's on my christmas list to get a new one they have plastic ones they have metal ones go crazy also in addition to that something that has been trendy for probably a year now is stanley cups those are another option for water bottles that every girl on the planet wants they're like the 2013 yetis but better uh so stanley cups are another great option for your girlies that always want to be hydrated i know that i would be happy with a nice water bottle from anyone but for me i like my water filtered so that's why i like the brita water bottle but stanley's i they can't even keep them on the shelves they've been selling out all the time pretty much every time they go up for like a year so i definitely recommend stanley cups as a good option 
So the next thing on my list is another thing that every girly I know of has a pair of or is rotating out a pair of. Some of these are things that not every girl on the planet wants, obviously, like judge, know their personality and know, like if you're getting a gift, you should know them well enough to know if this is something they would be like absolutely not or they would enjoy. But a really common thing that is also on my list this year is slippers. The ones that are really, really popular are the ones with the smiley faces on them. I'll link them down below. They're on my Christmas list. They're on Amazon. But any slippers, really. There's memory foam ones. There's nice ones. Girls love slippers. We like nice little things like that. Like the little details. Like chef's kiss. Slippers are a good freaking time. So definitely... Definitely think about slippers if she does not have any and she's the type of cozy girl that would love some because I know I would be very happy like weirdly happy if someone got me slippers. So another option is another thing on my list shocker anything that's really expensive that you know she's not gonna indulge on herself if she like on a typical tuesday night so for example like skincare hair care any like really expensive products that she's not going to typically buy get them for her so i have wanted some um this turmeric facial cleanser for a really long time and it's like 50 dollars a bottle so it's nice skincare and it's supposedly like really good for you it doesn't have any of the toxic stuff in it super organic good time so for me i'm trying to get as much dirty products out of my lineup as possible so for me like a big part of that is skincare and hair care and switching to stuff that's better for me and the environment and all that good stuff so this turmeric cleanser cleanser is something i've really wanted so it's on my christmas list this year i also have a dyson air wrap on my christmas list i don't think that's gonna happen because i personally am not like super excited for one but i know all the girlies were raving about them so definitely look into the dyson air wrap so like eight hundred dollars but if you want to have that kind of cash and you want to spend it that's just another example of something that's expensive she's not gonna buy herself then there's like the $50 skincare that I'm leaning towards. I'll link that down below as well. But anything like that that she's mentioned or you've heard her talk about, those are good items because it's just a time to like show that you love her and you're willing to spend a little bit more when she won't do it herself. Because self-care is fun. It's a good time. So another thing is an experience. I ride horses, as you know. I also am very active in the animal world so an experience that i thought of is either taking her horse riding like a horse riding experience where you just go horse ride fun like that or going to like one of those did you guys hear that truck it was just going for it that was literally outside um or like an experience where you go to the animal shelter and they let you take a dog out for a day. I know some of our animal shelters do that. Anything like that. If she likes animals or if she is a softer soul that would enjoy going out of her comfort zone and, you know, meeting a new animal or hanging out with a new animal. Anything like that. That is a fun thing that you guys could do together if you want to do an experience instead of a gift. I don't recommend getting her an animal like as a gift unless you've spoken to her and you know that it is something she's willing to take care of for the next 10 15 years uh because we don't want to end up rehoming the animals right after you get them or putting them in a situation where they aren't living their best life so that's why i recommend the experience rather than the animal Another one that kind of cracked me up, but I know it's number one on my list, is Taylor Swift tickets for the Eras Tour. So, if you have the funding and you don't know what to get her, Taylor Swift tickets. That's all she wants. Taylor Swift tickets. Probably like 80% of the population of women in their 20s want Taylor Swift tickets. That's all we want. So, another thing that's really trendy that I feel like everyone always needs a new pair of is white sneakers. And you can kind of tell if she's an Air Force or a Vans girly. But, and there's occasionally some Converse girlies still out there, but any of those brands, 10 out of 10, white sneakers, always need them. They're really trendy. They never really go out of style. 
a good pair like like i mentioned an air force a vans a converse any other fun pair that you can find just plain white sneakers are pretty much a safe bet like she will enjoy them those are also on my christmas list funny silly goofy me pretty much anything with coffee or tea so a mug if you're willing to put in the money like an espresso machine or a keurig uh women in their 20s really enjoy hot beverages you're either a tea or a coffee girl for the most part from out of the girls i've run into there's coffee tea and matcha and if they like matcha they typically lean towards tea but there's also also the coffee girlies so anything that can help them do that make sure if they have like a keurig and they've told you about it get them pods maybe you could do like a little cozy night basket where you get them hot chocolate slippers a nice blanket candle all those things i think that would be like super fun and you can personalize it add a little card do a movie night with them and get them like a basket of nice products to go with that that would be like a dream come true i think if josh got that for me for christmas i would pass out of happiness just like a fun basket of nice stuff i mean it doesn't even have to be nice it could be like stuff that's super like it doesn't have to be like designer is what i'm saying it could be just nice stuff why is someone stopping outside of my house hello okay sorry i just got really concerned for a second there so another fun experience that i came up with is looking up the small businesses in your community and going on a date where you just go to a bunch of them so whether it's shopping and you go to all the stores whether it's you go to a coffee shop in the morning that's like a small business and then you go to a bookstore and then you go shopping like there are so many small businesses and if you're in a location where you haven't fully explored them this is such a fun idea and just buy stuff for them like take them on this date and then buy them stuff from each of the small businesses and the money that you would use for a present goes towards these things like hey i'll give you a hundred dollar limit and you can pick out whatever you want something like that is so fun and it gives you time with them if they're like a quality time person and you can get them a little something and you're supporting small businesses so that sounds like fun i used to do that all the time with my friends we would just have like small business days and we would go to all the small businesses and i really recommend it because it's just like a 10 out of 10 time my bunny just did like a backflip behind the camera i'm not even kidding this is not a drill i don't know okay wild so another thing i know i asked for this for christmas and this is a little bit more niche so for those girlies who are december graduates from college high school whatever you're feeling or they're like me and they still haven't taken their diploma out of the envelope get them a nice picture frame to put it in i've talked about this multiple times to my family because i literally have a blank spot in my office where the whole office is decorated except for this huge blank spot to put my degrees because i don't have a frame for them but each frame is like 50 dollars and the thing they don't tell you about graduating college is that you're probably going to be poor after you graduate until you get like on your feet so i don't have 150 dollars to spend on three frames so a really nice thing you can get to, for someone who's graduating college but also if it's around christmas you can get it for them as a christmas gift is a nice frame to put a degree in i'm pretty sure all degrees are the same size if not like you can you should double check but as far as i know mine were the same size as my mom's and my sister's and pretty much everyone else i've been around but you never know i could have just not seen a different degree that's a different size so a next one is if they are like a trendy kind of old-fashioned girly is a digital camera or some sort of like older camera whether that's a polaroid i have this really cool thing and it's made by polaroid and it's like a machine and you scan your phone on top of it and then it turns the picture on your phone into a polaroid so that's really fun if they were really into getting like film developed an older camera like that or even a journal just old-fashioned things like that not the journaling's old-fashioned but a really nice leather journal some books 
if she's that kind of girl she's gonna love that make sure she doesn't have anything like that already but you know just a camera i know that the cameras from like the 2000s are coming back where they you can take pictures and it has like the date in the corner in red so anything like that for those kind of girlies are so fun and you can probably get them at either a pawn shop or a thrift store or something ebay for pretty cheap and you know making sure that they work and do all the things is important but if you can find one they're great and they would make a really cool present and you would be like recycling so it's a good time another thing that you should probably be careful about this is for someone if you know them really well and you know this isn't gonna offend them a matching workout set like a top and a bottom are so nice because they can get expensive and you can run errands in them you don't necessarily have to work out in them they're just so comfortable and they just i, I don't know for me they boost my confidence i don't know what just happened for me they boost my confidence so make sure that like she's not going to take offense to it because anything that you can get them concerning the gym can go badly like another thing you could do is pay for a couple months of their gym membership or something like that but if they're gonna take offense to it and be like oh so you think i need to go to the gym don't do it kind of read the room there but workout sets are really nice and they're a really solid way to go on that same note like about paying for their gym membership one thing that i did all through college is on christmas i just had people pay different bills for me so i would give them my electric bill i, I would literally send in the family group chat like this is how much my electric bill is this is how much my water bill is this is how much my rent is can you pay part of one or all of one and that'll be my christmas gift and that's a really easy thing to do especially for people who are navigating their 20s they don't really have their finances figured out yet a sweater isn't gonna really help anything honestly like a sweater is gonna go on the top of my closet paying a bill is gonna make all the difference for me because it frees me up a little bit takes some of that stress away so that's a really easy thing to do it's not near as fun but sometimes that is just like the way to go you know like if, if if they're stressing about money that means a lot more to them than a sweater that you got from hollister that isn't even really their style you know another set that you can get that i feel like almost any girl will love is a matching lounge set so either a hoodie or a crew neck or a zip up with matching like joggers so i'll link an example of these as well as an example of a workout set in the description as well as everything else but these you cannot go wrong with these any girl like they are so comfortable there you can run errands in them every girl has to run errands and we all want to look cute while doing it it's like a cohesive look it's really easy to throw on it's just 10 out of 10 chef's kiss like i really do think that this is one of the best gifts you can get someone and i just i love it so i will link like an example down below but this is one of those more general ones that you can just get someone pretty much anything so i really really think that that is a good option i'm trying to think of if there's anything else because that is the end of my list but i feel like this episode was really short and i definitely could come up with more things and i just miss talking to you guys so i don't know <laughs> oh another good thing that you could do is get them stuff for their animals so if they have a dog if they have bunnies like me if they have you know whatever they have a cat you can never go wrong getting them things for their animal if they are like into that if they are a big person who like their entire personality is their pet that's a better idea or like i mentioned if they are not financially secure getting them like food like a little care package that has food for their dog for the month like a bag of dog food and if they have a bunny like i do like hey cat litter a blanket like a nice bed anything like that i know that that's more of a gift for their pet but for them than for them but for some people that are into their animals that is all they want they just I, I mean i just want my animals to be happy as long as my animals are happy and safe i'm happy so i would much rather that than something that i don't really 
care about like not that I don't care about but not that just like a random thing that I don't need like some of these clothes are great but like I mentioned like a random sweater I have 500 sweaters I don't really need another one I would be appreciative of it but I couldn't use it the same way that I would use something that is giving me literal anxiety like how am I gonna pay not me personally but if I was in that sh those shoes like how am I gonna pay for dog food oh my gosh what am I gonna do because I've been there in the past like and then someone giving you dog food like that is so much better so much better so basically all I want to do is encourage you to think about what is going to really make their year better or the end of their year better what are they going to use going into the new year what are they going to use for a long time and what is very personal to them it doesn't have to be monogrammed it doesn't have to say their name on it it doesn't have to literally be a personalized gift even though gifts are great that are like that and etsy has some great ones but it can still be personal to them by being a bill that they need paid or something that uh, an experience you're going to have with them or something that they enjoy that they're going to use every day so that is pretty much all the gifts i have i know that this episode is going to be short all of my episodes have been short lately and i'm kind of annoyed about it but i think it's just with the busyness of the holidays i haven't taken as much time to like really write out my outlines and the ideas I've had, I really want to talk about, but they just aren't long enough. So I need to combine them, but then the episodes end up being too long. So we're ending up with this like 20, 30 minute timeline of episodes, but it's okay. I just want to say that I love you guys. I was looking at the Spotify wrapped for this episode or this podcast, and we were in the top 20% of podcasts shared globally. And that is insane. This podcast has been listened to in 28 countries. 28. That's way more than I've been to. Like, way more. And I'm just, like, shook. Like, I was just sitting there absolutely mind blown. And I cannot thank you enough. I am acting like this is the last episode of the year or something. It's not. Obviously, I post every Wednesday and Sunday. But I just wanted to take time to say thank you since Wrapped came out today. And I cannot wait to top it even more next year with the 2023 Wrapped. I know I'm already thinking that far ahead, but I just have so much planned for you guys. I'm working so hard to get everything done. And I just want to say that I really appreciate you investing in me and taking the time to believe in me and listen to my podcast and take you know what I say and really just enjoy it listen to it take my advice anything like that because it means the absolute world to me I love you guys so so much if you haven't already don't forget to like comment subscribe depending on whatever platform you're on some you can do that some you can't if you leave a rating and review on the apple podcast or on spotify and comment your username i will shout you out on instagram i really would appreciate it it helps my podcast out more than you know and i would love to have you as well as anybody else who may see that rating or review join the community of girlies all working to become our best version of ourselves the version of that girly that we see and want to become whether that's Someone who gets up at 6 a.m., someone who gets up at noon, someone who eats super healthy, someone who only eats healthy three days a week. Whoever is your ideal person, I want to help you become her. And I think we all are in agreement that we all want to help you become her. And it's just such a non-judgmental non place and I'm so happy to have this and have you guys. I don't know, I'm getting emotional. I need to stop. Okay, I'm going to go edit this, publish it, and... Go decorate for Christmas. I love you so much and I will see you on Sunday. Have a great night if you're watching this on Wednesday. If you're watching this at any other time, have a great morning, afternoon, or night. All right. Bye guys. Love you.